So this is something people who start projects don't quite ask for, but it's what I think is the most important thing we can do to help them. At the end of the day, if something isn't forbidden by the laws of physics, then nothing can stop you from doing it except knowing how. It's a matter of knowledge, not resources. If you know how to fundraise extremely well, you can do that. If you know how to hire extremely well, you can do that. If you know how to build amazing projects, you can do that. So at the end of the day, it's our knowledge as a network that is the most valuable resource we can offer to other groups. We do this by combining a set of guides and systems and resources and offering people's time through office hours, introductions, and so on to facilitate knowledge sharing. When I, we are a YC company. We learned an enormous amount from the knowledge of that community. The YC community helped the world make it dramatically easier to start companies across all industries. And that came from knowledge sharing. I personally look back at the YC program, and the single most valuable thing that Protocol Labs um, got from YC was the valuable knowledge that compounded over time. The YC network produced tremendously valuable knowledge resources, and we want to do uh, our part to contribute our knowledge in this domain to both the Protocol Labs network and the YC broader network. One of the key components that we um, also learned from uh, YC and from uh, universities and from many other organizations is the value of open office hours. In universities, if you ha are struggling with some problem, if you have a hard set of questions around some domain, or if you're working on new things and new projects and so on, and you want time with the amazing, super knowledgeable, uh, deeply thoughtful faculty, the best pattern is to use an open office hour format. That's where faculty members would create an open time slots in their schedule and meet with whoever was there. You would sort of like form up uh, outside of their office, and you would just meet with them, and usually in very small intervals, like five or 10 minutes, so that many people could access, um, access that person. YC built on that and created the famous, world famous YC office hours, where many people across uh, YC contributed tremendous knowledge to um, to many groups. We're doing that, that same structure in PL, although in this model, anyone in the network can share knowledge to anybody else in the network. It's not just founders and, and investors and partners and so on, but it's really anybody across the network that has deeply valid, valuable skills and knowledge that can contribute to other projects. And we're doing this by structuring our office hours with a tool uh, where you can list out uh, your time slots and uh, schedule meetings with folks. Over time, we'll, we, we think that this kind of mentor, structured men mentorship and office hours can generate massive amounts of value for all of the projects out there. Again, whether they're companies, R&D projects, labs, or open source systems. I've had many people come to my office hours to ask about like, the beginnings of IPFS and how, how that got started, or um, how to tackle certain like, large-scale problems in an open source community. So it's not necessarily, it doesn't have to relate to uh, businesses. We also want to provide our knowledge in a very hands-on way with a set of structured summits tuned to help teams uh, level up, especially in important phase transitions. So think of those moments when teams fundraise have um, now more capital and now are thinking about the next set of challenges, uh, or when they have some important product launch that then uh, shifts their organization into a new uh, mode of operation. Those are great times to gather the knowledge of a set of experts across the network, the ones that are most relevant and have strongest connection to those teams, and have like deep dives into the, the vast swaths of problems that that team is going to uh, take on and help them think through their, their plans. We find, after doing this for, for a few years across um, many teams in, in our network, we find that those summits generate an enormous amount of value for our teams and help uh, save, in reality, months, quarters, or sometimes <laughs> Uh, years. We also support the PL network with deep knowledge in Web3, and we've compiled things like a Web3 startup knowledge base and immense amount of questions answered and real-time support in discussion forums across IPFS, LibP2P, Filecoin, and more. Um, this is a great way to disseminate information and also make real-time access to the experts that can help you solve and debug problems. We're also doing our work in public, um, and this is a really important kind of like uh, talent or, or a skill that we've developed and really honed in the past year 
uh, which is actually executing in a network native way, doing our all hands openly and publishing them to the network, doing our um, team planning and design docs in uh, public notions and having weekly updates from every team so that you can understand the current challenges that they're facing and new opportunities to get involved. Um, this is a, a great way for many teams to see real-time shifts in direction or trajectory or highlight new risks or challenges that they need support on. In PL Endres, many of our res dev teams also are exporting a lot of their R&D knowledge around cryptography, distributed systems, and crypto economics uh, to help many companies across the PL network harness these new breakthroughs and build their startups and projects uh, based on these, these deep foundations. And so you'll see many of these labs contributing heavily to Filecoin improvement proposals, to IPIPs in the IPFS ecosystem, um, and really helping uh, disseminate the deep research knowledge that's been honed in these world-class teams.